Well, it's currently being screened at the International Durban Film Festival. It's called The Whale Caller. Uh, it follows the story of a Hermanus whale caller, a man who has long turned his back on humanity. It is a heartwarming story about his journey from misanthropic alienation to human connection, driven by a unique love triangle between him, Saluni, and Sharisha, a southern right whale. Now, the film, as you may or may not know, is adapted from uh, the book by acclaimed writer, Zeik Simda, and uh, is also directed by Zoro Maseko and features Selo Make Kanube. Uh, we wish we had Selo in studio with us. He was meant to be with us, but unfortunately couldn't make it. But we are so happy to have Zola Maseko. He is in our Durban studios to tell us a little bit more about this. Uh, Zola, thank you so much for being with us. It's wonderful to have you on the program. Thank you for having me on the program. Good morning to your listeners. The whale caller, it just seems to be growing from strength to strength. I mean, from winning a massive award last year at the inaugural Joburg Film Festival, um, it, it's now screening at the International Durban Film Festival. How was it received last night? Ah, the screening was totally amazing. Um, we had a really, really decent crowd. Crowds haven't been so great at the screenings, but we had um, half a full house and um, got a, um, an ovation at the end. So anytime, every time that the audience claps after a movie, you know that you have moved them and touched them and told a good story. So that was really great. I'm so happy. To, I'm happy to hear that, but I'm not happy to hear that the, the theatres are not full at the Durban Film Festival. What's going on? I don't know. You're going to have to ask the, the organizers yeah. of the Durban Film Festival about that. I it's um, so. the biggest film festival in the country. It's been running for about close to 20, almost 30 years. It's a great festival. And I don't know about the community outreach programs and whether um, they're doing enough publicizing and marketing before the festivals. But, yeah. um, you know, we're going to get there. It's all about audience development and getting audiences to appreciate um, South African films. Absolutely. We'll have to definitely to get the organizers on because that's I mean it is a major film festival and the opportunities to see some of the greatest films including this one that you you have for us now I mean um, we'll, we'll leave that conversation for another day I want to talk more about this movie now I've been reading that it actually took you nine years to complete this film why why so long it Ah, that's that's the pain of my existence. Why so long? You know, we have um, we have we have great support from government um, in funding our films from various agencies. However, the funding from government is not enough, um, and we have to bring in the private sector to come and play and um, and help grow this industry into an industry. So what happens typically is you start developing a film. You have to apply to about three or four different organizations and, uh, and get development money, which will take you two to three years to develop the film. After that, you have to apply for development money, for production money, after you've done your budget. That can take four to five years raising the budget for your film. Then after that, you have to apply to different organizations or come back to the same organizations to apply for marketing and distribution. Yeah. So by the time your product, which is mm. hot off the, the shelf, so to speak, reaches its audience, or by the time the project is developed, it's gone through so many different layers and you've had to ask for money from so many different people that um, just surviving and staying alive becomes, um, becomes an art in itself. Yeah. And um, we really have to look at the industry in terms of how can we make it um, bring the whole film making process under one body and we can then talk about creating 
a conveyor belt of film so that you know you get into the development and uh, marketing and um, sorry research and development from there you moved into production from there you moved into marketing and distribution you come off the conveyor belt and you come into a second movie and in that way can we only start about talking about a fully fledged a commercially viable film industry but we're getting there we fight we fight this battle every day of our lives yeah i think it's it's such a, a beautiful thing that you've chosen to to give birth to zakes and das books I, and and i am stealing the word give birth to because i read a beautiful article about uh, and a review about the film and and that's what the what the the uh, the critic had to say about it it's a must see movie i i personally am dying to see it and i'll ask you when i can see it but what made you want to uh give birth to zakes and zakes and das book what was it that resonated with you in it well you know my um my whole passion and what drives me um by and um, about this film industry and why i get up every morning and this dream that i've kept alive since i was 10 years old and wanted to be a filmmaker was to tell our own stories from our own perspectives yeah. um you know i think it was tabo mbeki who said if the deer doesn't tell its story the lion will and you know we coming from apartheid and colonialism you know um, our history has been bastardized our history we've been told that we had nothing to contribute to civilization we were monkeys before the colonizers came and um, you know um, it's time i guess now that we have the microphone to use an and uh, to use this analogy we have um a platform um to speak and to define ourselves and you look at my movies through from the foreigner sarabat man the manuscripts of timbuktu drum yeah. i can i i would say that um, the motto or the ethos of black roots pictures which is my production company is celebrating blackness in general and africans in particular and i make no excuse about that it's because we have been told that we are this and that and uh, you know and um, these things have had a very devastating impact and influence on our psyche such that we believe the images and the way we are being portrayed in western popular culture mm -hmm. so why i tell these stories is to tell um our or let me say my version of our stories is to celebrate us celebrate our achievements celebrate blackness um that's one thing the second thing is i want to tell good stories nothing drives me crazy or makes me happier as reading a great book or watching a great film yeah. and i want to share these stories and south africa has got such wonderful stories and on top of that you know south africa as we all know is known around the world we are in such a privileged position yeah. i've got a friend of mine from cameroon and she says you guys are lucky in south africa the whole world knows about you in cameroon the only thing they know about us is that we've had paul beer who's been in power for 45 years so we've got we 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 we've got not the atten we've got the attention we've created a market for us internationally and this is worth gold um, that the uh, the international community wants to know how we survived um, apartheid how we didn't go into the civil war and the truth and reconciliation is something new that the whole world can learn from and so we have a ready audience in the world and i want to take south african films onto an international to an international market unbelievable and i and i think you're doing exactly that i cannot wait to see this this movie um we've run out of time but when can i watch it when is it going to the big screen here in south africa when can we officially see it The movies the move the movie comes out on the big screen on Sturkinico on the 13th of October. Unbelievable. And um, I must say that um, as I explained about you know government funding and bringing the private sector in you know um, I've had to rely on friends and family and I must thank my executive producers Don Pupuma I must thank Sipo Twala Putana Koza these are friends of mine who believed in my passion who believed in my dream who believe in sharing South African stories who took money out of their own pockets and supported my film and that's wow. what we're trying to build and that's the only way we can be, be, be build a, a sustainable 
and economically viable film festival in this country. I am so happy for you. I love your passion. I love your storytelling. And I cannot wait to see The Whale Caller. Uh, 13th of October, it's the day before my birthday, so I'll definitely be there. I'll make that my, my birthday outing just to go and watch that movie because I've only heard fantastic things about it. The Whale Caller, um, it's showing at the Durban Film Festival. It showed last night to great acclaim. And it was just wonderful having uh, the director of The Whale Caller, Zola Maseko, in studio with us. Well, also in studio with us are two handsome men. You're going to know, you're going to love us for bringing them to you. I can promise you that much. Uh, just hugging them in the passageways made me happy to see them here this morning. It's Mark Alex. They're here. They're in studio with us. We'll be chatting to them later on in the program. Uh, they're going to be talking about this year's Rocking the City Memory Lane concert. It's going to be taking place in Cape Town on the 29th of July. Here they are. Enjoy. Mark Alex. Oh, babe, I think it's not fair You do tell me when and where I can go Oh, babe, I thought you understood What it really takes to keep me good Challenges from you every day, every day. Telling me I cannot go out and play When we met I wasn't wide in the street but if you keep me tied down, I just wanna sneak, baby, boys be boys. Tell them what to do. Let boys be boys. Can live with them, can live without them. Boys be boys. Never can make them change. Boys be boys. Get the best of me Cause I've got to run sometime just to see Who's around compared to who's at home Little bit of room, baby, I'll never roam Tell us he can only live to pay, live to pay. If you want my heart and soul to remain Give me room to breathe and space to live Give you all the love I have got to give, baby. Boys, be boys. Can tell them what to do. Boys, be boys. Can live with them, can live without them. Boys, be boys. Never can make them change. Boys, be boys. Always playing for your games. Boys, be boys. Can tell them what to do. Boys, be boys. Can live with them, can live without them. Oh, yeah. The truth is I have got to live Can live and I can make believe Trust is the meaning of love And when it came down to it You didn't trust enough oh, oh, oh. Right now baby I need this time 